I'm gonna start this vlog right here with no intro just because I'm like tripping out right now what I found in my plans and I just want to show you guys and we're gonna see what we can do to fix it because as you guys can see I have a mess right now I'm actually cleaning, moving plants, what I do almost every day <laughs> and then I started checking my plants because I Try to check them at least once a week to just make sure there's no bugs or anything. I was checking my plants to see how they're growing and everything. And oh my god, look what I found. This is the most I could zoom in. Do you guys see that white little thing? That's a mealy bug. And I think all of this that looks sticky and white, it might be babies or actually I'm not really sure because I'm new to mealy bugs I'm just sure I know this is kind of gross for some people it was kind of gross for me when I saw it but I'm just showing it to you guys for learning purpose and you see something like this you know what it is they're mealy bugs so I noticed it on this Hoya which this is the Crimson Queen Hoya and I only see one so far right here at the end. Then even the one I'm not zoom in, you guys can see it. it's right there. Oh my god. Um, I still haven't seen another one around here, but I need to check really careful because when I saw this, I swear to you guys, I got so scared. I hate bugs that I almost threw the plant. <laughs> Like my reflex, I was holding it and I almost like went like this and threw the plant thing God, I didn't. Because I was like, what the heck is this? Like I had never seen one in real life. Okay, so I check all my plants and guess what? It's only my Hoyas that have it. So it's this one. This is my other Hoya that she's been growing so well and she has them. And she has more than one. I think I saw like three of them. And I'm just tripping because I don't want them to die, especially this one because she's been growing a lot. This is what I think happened because it's weird that only my two Hoyas have them. I checked my third Hoya that I have and I don't see nothing yet, but then again, it is a little one. Let me show you guys which one it is. So this is my other little Hoya that I have and I haven't seen nothing yet on this one this one is a little one so i don't know if that's the reason why there's still that in here i don't know so i check all my plants and only these two have them which i guess is good in a way <laughs> i don't know how mealy bugs spread how do they go to another plant i'm not sure so these two i do have them separate so this one is hanging here sorry so bright so one of them is hanging here and the other one is hanging over there. So they are separate. So I don't know if that also helps for them to not be spreading. Um, although I do have two plants there, but I already checked them and I don't see nothing. So I was thinking like, did I do something different for these plants? Or maybe these plants attract them more than other plants? Or I still haven't find them in another plant, which I hope I don't. But I didn't remember that I was doing something different only for these three plants. And I showed you guys this in another video, which is using the orchid plant food mist. And I've been doing this like almost every day and I've been sp spraying it in those areas where they have the mealybugs. So I'm blaming this. I think this is what caused it. I don't know if this somehow the nutrients or whatever it is in this liquid like is tasty <laughs> for the mealybugs to come. I really think this is what it is to cause my Hoyas to have them because like I said, where I've been spraying, that's where the mealybugs is. So I got this from online just so you guys could know what mealybugs are and what they actually do to your plants so you could pause to read it right now i don't think i have like a serious case of mealybugs because i just found them and i have only seen like a handful which hopefully that's all i have so we might be good i'm gonna try some remedies and i'm gonna show you guys the remedies that i'm trying that i search online and youtube and hopefully that helps okay so i got you guys zoom in so you guys could see the leaves and you guys could tell they're kind of wrinkly so one it could be that they need water or it could be that the mealybugs are damaging it. Hopefully it's just water. So one of the things that I search around is to use rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to be using 
Ravin alcohol and it has to be 70% no more than that because then you're gonna damage your plant and then you're gonna need a q-tip so we're gonna dip the alcohol in the q-tip and then we're gonna remove it I read that it changes color I think to like an orangey red color and that's when you know it's dead but I don't know if I'm gonna wait for that <laughs> I think I'm just gonna try to remove it and then throw it away some somewhere so I'm just gonna use like a little water bottle cap to put the alcohol another thing that you can do if you have a lot of them like for example let's say this stem was full of them then you could cut that piece if it's not a big piece that way you could just get completely rid of it honestly what I'm gonna do because either way I feel like this stem is already dead I don't think none of the leaves are gonna come out from there so as soon as I remove it I am gonna cut that piece as much as I can close to here when I showed you guys earlier that's where I noticed where it looks all like sticky and yeah all of the stuff that the mealybug is putting okay so let's kill this sucker sorry if it goes out of focus so I have a napkin here where I'm gonna put it <laughs> okay I'm gonna put first the rubbing alcohol I'm pressing on it Oh my god, it does turn different color. Let me show you guys. You see how it changed color? It's like red. It's like orangey. So I guess it's dead now. But it's all the way in there. Like it's really stuck in there. How am I supposed to take that out? Oh my god. I don't think it's gonna zoom in, but it's right here. Just to make sure there's nothing else in there, I'm just gonna put a more rubbing alcohol. Kinda to clean that area. Let me cut this. And I'm just gonna clean it up. I forgot to mention that where the mealy bugs like to hide is like under the leaves, like like places like this. So that's where you could find them. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it to the shower. So I'm just gonna spray it with water just to make sure that if there's anything else on the leaves so it could fall off. And I'm gonna keep on checking them every week and see if they come out. And if they do, I'm gonna keep on doing the same process. Let me show you on this plant because just so you guys know how good they hide like from first glance like looking at the plant or even looking close at it you like it's healthy it's growing there's nothing in it right but if you look really close into the leaves you see it's right there so they hide really well okay so i'm all done and I also already took them, you can't really tell, but I already took them to the shower. And yeah, I think I removed all of them. Hopefully, they don't come back. But if they do, at least I already know what to do. But I am really sad about the orchid miss because I really do think it was helping my whole just to grow. Because as soon as I started spraying it, they started giving me new leaves and they weren't for a while. So I am going to put these plants in quarantine. They're going to be in another corner where... They're not close to my other plants just in case if they keep on getting infested and that way they don't infest my other plants. So I hope you guys liked this video. I hope this video was helpful and you guys learned something new like I did. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye my loves!